school. My name is Kosa Z, eight years old, primary two, also from Irving Primary School. This lesson is Calculus Chapter 5 Indefinite Integral. We have used these four methods, right? Yes. So right now we'll use the fifth method. By but gamma function. By gamma function, right? Yes. But let me just tell you, for the first method, First method to the fourth method that we have used, we all use the indefinite integral. Indefinite. But now it's a bit different. We we'll have definite integral. Even though it's next lessons. Okay, so remember about these. We're going to do the that we get. Yeah, we're going to see which one is better. And which one Anyway, do you know which one does we use usually on textbooks later you will know? So first we'll see which one is better and correct. For example, this. This is a problem. So, this improper infinity. This is improper. Two cannot. This proper. So, for this set, we have this. Is it right? So for this, is it determinable or is it indeterminable? For this case, it's indeterminable form. As you know, it's a infinity over infinity. They are indeterminable form. 
Yes. So what can we make? Like numerator denominator we can? Okay. Numerator denominator you can divide the actually times us x squared divided x squared. You mean numerator denominator divided by x squared? Yes. For times x squared, it actually denominator divided by x squared and So tell me, what is ln 1? Ln 1 d log. <laughs> so actually, if you this, yes, so this would be 1 plus 0 plus 0, 1 minus 0 plus 0. So this will actually be a log 1, which is 0, so the whole thing 0 for this. With seven zero zero, so it's a it's okay. actually also a zero. Okay. So right now for this, in first tangent zero, what do you need for the answer? Actually, you get two times pi and one is pi and one is zero. But usually calculator will use zero. Actually, like. Pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, these all can. Yes. So over here is also ln 1, right? So actually these two are different. And since we talk about this, so... So what is ln 1? Ln 1 is 0. How about this part? Inverse tangent 0, so 0, right? So this is just a 0. But can it be possible? Yes. Wait, it is possible for this to be 0? Yes, this is zero. But is it possible? No. It is not possible. It's not possible. As you see at the graph, wrong. You should have a curve. Yeah, that's a touch. So this is like incorrect. Do we have the other side? No. Okay, we just will draw it, right? So this is not right. But, okay, this, this case, right? So, and remember, here's the... It's so fast, if really this fast, it's correct. But what if it more like... Very slow. Okay, if it's very slow, the area might be infinity. So we try this case. Can we try the other case? Yes. And plus another thing. What if this perfectly half pi? Perfectly half pi. Pi, two pi, three pi, four pi. What is like that? It will So we will use this case since we already know this case is wrong. So correct. Actually, you don't really need to put the line. You can 
that was a black cat, like us. Like this? Is that right? So, for this part, wait, this, what do we know about this? What do we know about this? So, so let me write this again. We'll okay. put the limit. Limit. We need to put the limit. Yes. So we'll use until what last time we learned the limit. Like the above. Because this is the incorrect. So let's see this. The best is to use the definite integral to check. So here this will minus, minus. So here we need to minus a square root 2 over 4. Correct, this part must be a 0 and yes. Like this, is it right? Yes. Where do you know that this part is a zero, right? Yeah. So zero and zero, don't need to write. How about this part? How about so this part? These two parts... Remember, this is the inverse tangent. And this was, is... And there is the... So we say here's the square root 2x plus 1, and then that's the square root 2x minus 1, right? Right. So it's actually is inverse tangent infinity, so right? Is, yes. This one was wrong and Let's see about okay. This. Inverse tangent infinity is inverse tangent infinity half pi. So remember, there's two of these half pi, right? So pi, pi, Like this, right? Yep. Then how about this part at the back? So here is it, right? Yeah. Okay. For this part, inverse tangent the one and the inverse tangent is negative one. So negative can put in front, right? Yes. So these two cancel each other, right? Yeah. So there's no more. Correct? Correct. So this is what we get as our area. Am I right? Yes. But do you know why these two, one of these is incorrect but this one is correct? Because no way to become zero. Okay, so let me explain this. Because that this is correct, this incorrect, this is why here books usually use this way, right? Yes. And here. You know what is accidentally wrong? This. Inverse tangent of this zero, for example, it can be a zero, it can be a pi, right? Yes. But usually, calculators will give zero. zero. So if you sum in zero, it will be wrong, but if you sum in pi, better, but usually they also zero. Yes. And that is the principle of 
value, right? Yes. As you combine these two together, they can be different things, right? Yes. Like for example, wait, which which one is this? Is this cosine or sine? Cosine. It actually zero to pi. Okay, so from here, for example, here it is. What is this? The negative half pi. And here's two. Pi. Wait. So here's zero, right? Half pi. Pi. Three pi over two. Like this, right? Yeah. If you take the area, they might just use this positive and this negative they minus. So become a zero. But actually that's not right. You need to add those two together, not minus them. And for example, this part. Which is a sign. Okay, so for this sign, here is a negative pi, right? And here's a pi, right? Yeah. Yes. Like this, right? Wait, you just drew the opposite. Okay, so this is actually a negative sign, right? Yes. Yeah. So, usually, if people were minus the two. Okay, so, which are also wrong, right? Mistaken there for minus, right? Yeah. Okay, so like this, are you clear? That is why these two, they can be different. Although, yes. this answer is still correct, right? Okay. And, what about? Okay, so, and that is the most important reason why books will write this. Textbooks, handbooks, whatever books. Although, this looks more short, right? And good. Better, right? Yes, but actually, this is better. Better understanding. Okay, so then... And this one can be misguiding. Yeah, for example, this, right? Yes, that is considered misguiding. Okay. So next, so I close this? Yes. So, so actually, can we erase all of these? Yes. Just before we erase, take a quick look at this, okay? And plus. Okay, so let's continue with this. So now it's going to be definite integral vs indefinite integral. So for these two, the definite integral and indefinite integral, for this indefinite integral, we can use all these methods in definite integral, right? Yes, like this. All these methods we also can use, right? Yes, except... But remember, when you solve the boundary, you must be very careful. Yes, and not... Also, the... When you solve the boundary, you must be careful that there is no, what do you call it? Singularity, right? Yes. And these, for example, in this example, these two, they cannot cancel each other, right? Yes. Okay, like, they cannot cancel each other, and in this first case, you'll get a zero, right? Yes. Okay, and this indefinite integral is this definite integral. Like the positive and negative, they also cancel each other, right? Indefinite integral, it also include 
the double integral, triple integral, line integral, surface integral. Yes. Okay. And in definite integral, the next chapter, we can prove all these gamma function, beta, beta function, function, and many, many other beta. functions. Okay? But remember, definite integral, though, there are many special methods, right? That indefinite integral cannot use. Yes, and we'll show all of you these special methods. Yes, but today we are going to just show one. So we have one special formula here. This is it right? Yes. And let me just show you what is this this we call it though? Gamma. Okay? Yes. So first we have here it is x to the power of n minus 1 and the e to the power of negative x. So right now let me just give an example here, okay? Okay. Continue. Okay, so okay, all right now you can sub this in.
So is that your answer? Yes. Yes, very good. So here this is how you solve it, right? Yes. But would you want to know what happens when these two powers are very, very close together? Would you want to know what happens? So here you have plus one, minus one, right? Right? Yeah. So here plus one, minus one, here will be the one quarter. Am I right? Yeah. So here you have the sine half pi, right?
So here you have your answer over here, right? Yep. So here you can rationalization. What you'll get is, right? Yes. So here this will be your answer, right? Yep. So for this, using the definite integral, we also can get our answer, right? But this is actually quite short, right? And remember, for these, we must watch out that these don't boundary. cancel each other, right? And don't get a boundary there, must be careful. Yes. Okay, and there shouldn't be any singularity, right? Okay, next time we'll continue on over with our acting. So, what you want to say? Okay, if you like our videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Okay, so that will be the end of this lesson, okay? Yes. Okay. Thank you for your watching.